Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Hello, students. Welcome to our English class. It's a great pleasure to, you know, say hello to everyone who are joining us right now in the class and also getting ready to learn and maximize your skills. So for me, it's a pleasure to be here with you and also ready to, you know, do our best, like every single class we have. So there are some students right now joining, so it's for me a pleasure to say hi and always to maximize your English skills. So it's good to know that we are here ready to you know, learn and maximize your skills, guys. So welcome. And let's see, we have here some students like uh, Edwin, Rafael, Jose, Ricardo, Sifrido, Carlos, Ernesto. And we have, uh, we have them here. So it's good to see you guys. It's definitely a great pleasure, you know, to be ready here and uh, practice the English. All right. So I just want to listen to all of you. So say hello, everybody. How are you? Hello. Do you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, I, I appreciate it. Well, so welcome. And don't forget to have the camera on as the, one of the requirements to, uh, that we have the camera on so we can see all of you here in the class. And we have only one student who have the, my, the uh, camera. Also one, two students we have the camera, so great for them. And, but the rest, I need you to do it, okay? Well, before starting the class for this time, because we started unit number two, we have a different unit. I just want to make sure that we are having a correct, a correct uh, feedback of the previous classes. So I just want to know what do you remember we did, what we did in the last class, what we did yesterday. So who wants to help me with that? Who wants to give me an opinion of this? Okay, uh, what we did in the last class, who wants to help me to respond? No one? Okay, what we did in the last class? Yes, the volunteer. Don't scare me that nobody talks here. Yeah, this is the time to shine, so do it. So what we did yesterday, who wants to explain with your own words what we did? Nobody? Osman? Uh, Sufredo, Juan Carlos, Kevin, someone? Uh, what is the question, teacher? So, what, what we did yesterday, can you explain me what you remember mm -hmm. we started? Yesterday, we did an exercise that we, we have to do a training, to did a training. And for each step for the training, design training, topics, evaluate training. And I, I didn't remember other, other topics that we saw yesterday. The last, the last exercise, the uh, listening, right? Ah, oh, the listening exercise, mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Juan Carlos. And it's, it's difficult for me when we uh, do uh, exercise for uh, listening. 
practice listening. Yeah, the listening practice. Um, but it is it is it is that we did yesterday. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's right. I know it's important. Uh, that's why we're here in the class to try to maximize your skills. We don't have to forget that part. So thank you so much, uh, Kevin, and also Juan Carlos that joined him in the explanation about what we did. It's important to have a feedback because sometimes we have a lot of things to do um, that we are like, you know, all the time and pretty busy and we forget to study uh, because our schedule is like a little bit more demanding. But we always have to have refreshed uh, ideas about what we are doing in every single class. And that's why most of the time I ask you about that. So thanks a lot. So the question is, are you ready to practice? Tell me, are you ready? Yes. All right. Much better. Let's do it. Okay. Well, we um we have a specifically one week. Imagine so fast. The time goes so fast. And we have a, a video conference number six. And this is the model number two. Imagine we move on to the number two. And uh, this is called training uh, the word forged. So we are going to talk a little bit uh, like the second part related to uh, training. Because we have been talking about training, we will continue uh, focusing about some personal skills. And uh, we have uh, the, the goal for this class. And who wants to help me to read this goal? A volunteer. Who wants to help me, me? teacher? Yes, thanks. Uh, I will be able to, or only identify train? Yeah, everything. Oh, okay. I will be able to identify training needs in my department. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So in the, in the last class, we were talking about two classes before it. We have been talking a little bit about the uh, some personal uh, needs or training needs um, in my department. We were explaining uh, to our classmates about what skills the, perhaps are important to highlight in, in every employee or perhaps some trainings that will be awesome to have them in the company. And obviously that when we're talking about trainings, we're talking about investment. The company should invest in uh, preparation for employees, but at the same time, uh, employees should like move on to the next step, um, learn by themselves or look for different means to you know maximize your skills. So it's very important uh, to take that into account. And uh, I know that you have been doing pretty awesome in the, in the activities. Well, uh, starting this model number two, because we start uh, this model and uh, just emphasizing important details about training. And also we have the first activity. Let's start. It says that um, we had to respond to following questions related to training. The first one is, have you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs of your work uh, place area? And I'm just gonna give you one example. I have different jobs and um, I have been in some trainings uh, given by the administration, given by uh, the company. And uh, sometimes those trainings oh, wanna focus in the department's needs. And we are like, you know, what are we doing here? Is like general culture training or what? Because the, there are some other things that we would like to to focus in our jobs. And we're like thinking about what, what else would you like to have? And uh, I was saying, and I'm just gonna confess, I can just kind of confess that we, we were in a training about uh, platforms and um, some other books, but I, I don't use them. I don't use those books and I don't use the, the platform because I'm using the other one. And I was there for around three hours and I was like, you know, my God, for me, it would be, would be better to, to be in a ludic activity trainings because uh, when we're as teachers, we had to be updated related to uh, ludic activities and the development of ludic activities. That would be a no son training in my case, my personal experience. So the, this is the first question. It's like, have you attended a training program that did not address the specific needs 
of your workplace area, you, they were talking about something else, but no specific about the, the, the company's needs. And does the manager of HR and um, human resources usually conduct surveys at your workplace to identify your training needs? That, that is important. Does the management or the human resources department usually conduct surveys, uh, give you some like questions to know, uh, to identify the, your training needs? Do they do this one or not? No, well, in my case, they don't do that one. Or oh, yes, they do it. So you can also socialize with your partners about this one. And the last one that says, can you name three skills of your improve as a result of training programs you have taken. Well, that, that is very interesting. Uh, so you had to think about three skills to, uh, of your improve. For example, I learned a different skill uh, in my last training as a result of the training programs you have taken. For example, now I have the management control. Uh, nowadays, I, I consider that I, I am good at customer service. Uh, customer care because a uh, time ago I didn't know what to do or how to deal with customers and now I got like clear idea about what to do or perhaps I'm good at speaking at public because at the beginning I was like a little afraid to talk but nowadays it's like kind of easy for me to do that so I want you to to analyze these uh, questions we're going to take around three minutes to socialize with your partners because I would like being honest with you guys I would like to listen to all of you, but it's not possible. That's why we're going to be working with breakup rules. So uh, I'll give you a couple of minutes, respond, and then we're going to practice together.
Are you ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Right. Yeah, there are like simple questions and remember to be spontaneous to respond in each one. And we're going to work in the breakout rooms. We're going to take specifically uh, four minutes to um, practice with these questions and remember to be natural to talk and practice actively and don't be afraid to talk because at uh, this level, uh, always the practice is the most valuable and um, to listen to all of you talking, it's the best way. por ratos anormales porque hay que ser con los no están normales hey guys the first question is have you ever attended a training program that you that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area I don't know if you one time, yes, one time, <laughs> only one time. Really? Yep. Well, just uh, for me, in my case, uh, right now in my in my actual uh, work, uh, really, the um, training or capacitation is is a little bit yes, but but in my. Uh, last work, uh, we have a different training, and well, I remember that uh, the all capacitation and all training uh, was focused in the different areas, but uh, always uh, focusing the 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 our activities in in the work. For example, I don't know, um, leaderships, uh, personal relationships. Because I work in a in a factory and then I work with many people, and uh, I remember that uh, always training is focused in this uh, I, uh, area. Okay. I don't know, Jose Salvador. Mm, I in my case I work in a company, and. I received a, a training about uh, customer service. Uh, so, so. <laughs> but uh, you uh, work uh, just in this area. You work for the salesman, no? Yes, yes. Okay. But uh, in in this company, 
They are, eh, ellos no capacitan al personal. They don't train the personnel. Thank you, teacher. They, yeah, they don't train the, the personnel. They don't train, train. Thank you. Yes, uh, look at the chat. Like the training. Okay, thank you. Okay, in the, um, the other questions, does management or human resource usually conducts sur service at your workplace to identify your training needs? And in my case, um, uh, just the human resource department uh, program different training for the different brigades. Uh, for example, uh, the fire fire brigade. Uh, in my work, uh, we have the this this training for the members for this uh, team, but. All of you is programmed for the human resource department. The old, the old training is programmed for the human resource department. Imagine the method uh, you you make this this way. Okay. Uh, I, I know a uh, uh, human resource never never apply make never make a method but yeah. it's important that they understand uh, how do you understand uh, way my uh, understand how other persons do this activity that yes, activity. in general way uh, who is the, the method yes because many people, many operators get there and say, I leak, leak. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do my, I don't do my method. It's difficult. I don't like uh, to do this operation because uh, it's difficult. Yes. Uh, for, for, for this reason, I think it's, it's important. Uh, this department knows uh, a, a little or knows a general way this topic Bosman and the machines operators are receiving the this training for the moment no but it's a project but that I have with my team but it's a but, difficult but project. they yes but they uh, has has received a uh, light balancing like balancing, yes. Like line balancing maybe. for maybe can in can grow to supervisor. Yes, yes. Okay. But uh, but the operators too. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. The operators, uh, some operators, they uh, uh, they were received, they have received this uh, uh, program, line balancing because I because we we need they understand what is the importance. Uh, uh, to move the other operation or to move the, or to move to balance yes. other operation, the baronet. It's, okay. it's important to help the baronet in in the layout. In the layout, okay. okay. For each style, right? Yes, for for each each style. When oh. a model is is working with a specific style, and then has to change the other style with different construction uh, or always uh, will be a, a baronet and other people uh, has tell me i i can i didn't understand you a word tell me <laughs> but i i don't remember what is the word but i, I didn't baronet. understand but Bar can baronet? you continue oh, okay. yes what is it what is it I'm sorry, uh, I, 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 I can't speak English very well, but I try, yes. I, I think I, I, I speak 
very well, but, but I know. No, no, know. but I, I just, uh, I didn't understand a word. In, oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay. I don't remember what Jose, Car word. Jose Carlos Hosman, I'm sorry. Uh, Kevin and I, we are talking about uh, our job. Yes. Sewing, sewing <laughs> industry. <laughs> yes. No, I'm probably, no, probably interesting that the, the yes. conversation. Yes, it's a. Uh, yeah, uh, it's the other area. Yeah. Area. What's area? Area? Area. 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 This other area. area. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I, if you want, we can. Hosman, do you, do you want to to tell us if you have, uh, if have you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs needs? of your workplace area area um yeah in my case uh, i two two opportunity uh, why is the report in my case uh, uh, couple, uh training for my my team or it is the department uh, program the, the training and nor, uh, normal uh, the thing the Human resource uh, program, the, the training, the different four uh, uh, specific the new product in the sales. Uh, these are uh, okay. uh, hormones uh, uh, and uh, send the programmation, the, the training, the hormone, the hormone is necessary, the presential or online. And because it's the product, the new product introduced the, the sales. And sales? other cases, sales. Sorry? sales, 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 and other case the uh, the training the 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 leadership in my case. In this moment, for example, the the month of October and training the the capacity the training the new program or new process the electronic factory. This is oh yes, process. it is important right now. Uh, the yeah. government is applying the the, factura, the <laughs> electronic facturation. Yeah. Uh, since uh, what is the month that you need to start with the electronic facturation? Uh, in my company, starting month of, uh, the last month in, in October. In October, I, in, in my October, company. Yeah. As a result. Okay, and uh, you implement implement the the IQ is a is a um, is the best practice, right? In in the IT the it deals it deals or, or not? Uh -huh, it deals. Yeah, it but deals? yeah, but the that the the methodology that they did it was a agile agile oh. is methodologías ágiles eh, agile uh -huh. mm -hmm. ah okay mm -hmm. uh, okay in my case eh, yes eh, uh, for example some eh, skills eh, are for example eh, development performance eh, indicators for the things those KPI, KPI, mm -hmm. and in make a, a reports and analytics for these reports for the the decision uh, the, for make decision, right? Um, and only, only, only that. Mm -hmm. You the last one, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Remember. I, 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 no, I, I, it, it is because I, I lost the audio. I don't know what happened. Sometimes Zoom disconnect my audio or my microphone. So I, I don't know why. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I I have improved the kinai that I use when I check some products. P 
because when I started uh, at the quality control, uh, I didn't have uh, my eyes sharp. I, I, I think I, I can say that. So, um, I now I have I watch more details. Uh, mm. I learn to to read graphics. Um, graphics. I yeah. learned. Yeah, that's good. Graphics. Graphics. Okay. Um. Also, I I learned to to use uh i don't know how to say herramientas de medición uh, measured tools, tools. measured measure tools. tools like the caliper uh drometer some things like that a goniometer that mm -hmm. is for to 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 measure uh angulos Angle, <laughs> angles. angle. I think that's this angle. I don't know. Angles. Yes, angles. Uh -huh. angles. Mm. I think just that. You manage. You manage a, a lot of tools. You have to, <laughs> to. <laughs> you have to use the tool in your work. Yes, the, I, I, uh, I have a lot. Uh measure, especially measure. measure measure tools because uh -huh. I have to test the, the hardening of the tools because I test the um how is it, its name the are you were in metro in metrology I don't know metrology department are you were there no no I work in the quality Department. Ah, but I <laughs> yes. But it's similar, no metrology because no. The truth is that I I use all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Caliper. Caliper. Uh, mm -hmm. Cinta the tape. Oh, Make sure. I don't know how, how I forgot yeah. the name. Cinta metrica. What, what do you do? You make in. When measuring tape, centrometrica measuring tape. No. <laughs> what do you make? Uh, where you, do you what work? do you do? Uh -huh. What do you do uh -huh. in your oh, you job? Do you do? I, I work looking for area. Forging. For, for. Forging. Forging. For her. Ah, for her. Ah, nice. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I catch. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I have to watch a lot of things. Yeah. Sometimes it's difficult, even when you have the the tools, because. In the case of the hardness, you you can watch it. So, if you don't make the test, it is easy easy to to fail doing the that thermic treatment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, students, um, I could have the opportunity to be in all teams, in all groups, in the breakout rooms. And I was like really fascinated to listen to all of you discussing a little bit about questions about the training programs that were not good, especially for your area. And also the needs given in the company, especially um the human resources department that they always try to you know approach you looking for a better expectations from employees and looking for some possible things well so i'm really um, excited to listen to all of you talking all the time in the, in the conversations 
I, I was like thinking that at the beginning of the classes, you were a little quiet. And I was like, you know what? Th those guys don't talk. Uh, I suspected, but now I, I see the, you see you're more confident. Everybody's speaking, uh, practicing, helping each other with vocabulary. So we are in the right path. I, I see you more confident talking. And that's the way we had to show that, uh, that we are in a dance way. And also the rest is like uh, practice, vocabulary, reading, using the most appropriate tools for that. Um, I'm pretty sure that after this month, you will see the difference. And also you will be in a better level than you currently have right now. Okay, let's continue guys with the next part. I was really fascinated to listen to all of you, your experience in your company, in your jobs. It's really awesome. I also could learn about what you do, and I was uh, very, very excited. And uh, well, so we learn from each other. Okay, building vocabulary. Um, sometimes we know some words or con uh, concepts, and but sometimes we don't know how to explain it in English. And it's like, how do you say, uh, how do you say company in English? Oh, well, how do you say compañía in English? Oh, the, the word is like company. And uh, what is that? Ah, oh, it's compañía. Okay, you, you, you say the, the, the same word, you say that in Spanish or you say it in English. But why don't you give a personal definition about each word, like a dictionary? Oh, what is that one? Oh, it's a process in which uh, people are hired in a company. So instead of no specifically the meaning, you can also explain that in like real English dictionaries. So I want you to go online and also looking for in some thesaurus and um, the following concept, business needs and goals and gap skills analysis. Serby, wow, this is important. There are some um, kind of companies that they all the time have service for employees. Why? Because they need to know as a, as a backup about what they how they feel, if they need something else, they are uh, helping each other. So they are all the time giving some service to know about personal feedback and a performance a pro, a pro result. So I give you a couple of minutes to look for it in the um, in internet or in Trisaurus and identify the meaning of this uh, concept. Yes? Say yes. Say yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, much better, much better. Yes, yes teacher. Uh, yes, yeah, I just want to to know that or confirm that the, you have clear idea about this. All right, let's go. Let's do it.
Okay, um, do you have uh, the four of them or not yet? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Okay, so uh, taking advantage of all the time, we, we will um, check the attendance list. So you listen your name and you say present, please. Just uh, one moment. Uh, let me tell you that here it, it's raining. Um, how's how's the weather like? It is very warm. It's, it's raining too. It's raining. Oh, no. Yeah. Santa Ana is uh, very warm. It, it it is not raining in Santa Ana. No. Oh. No, there is. Okay. In my city, um, in my city, teacher, uh, for the moment the weather is so hot, hot, but uh, in this moment is uh, start raining. Oh, okay. So we hope it helps because it's yes. uh it's very hot for some some places. The weather is hot. Yeah, I, I heard um somebody told me I haven't watched the news. Being honest, but somebody told me that it was going to be raining during these days, I don't know, tomorrow or today and tomorrow, but uh, somebody told me that it was gonna be raining. And it is, it's it's okay. I, I was thinking that we are in we are in summer and it is still raining. Okay, so you listen your name and you say present please. Oh uh, let's go. Um Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos, it's here. Not Carlos. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Carlos Ernesto. It's not here. And Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thanks. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thanks. Uh, Joshua Natilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Okay. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Rafael Alexander Serna is there. And uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ciprido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Wendy? She was here or no? She was not here. And uh, Marina Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. And uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present. Thank you so much. I mentioned all of you. I just gonna go back to mention uh, some students that were not here. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Good evening, teacher. Present. And Wendy. Wendy. Wendy, present. Thanks. Sorry, teacher. Que vengo llegando. Ah, uh, you are coming, coming home. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez is not here, and uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Okay, only the two of them. We hope to see them. All right, so you said that you have the concept about each one. Okay, we have the first one, business uh, needs and goals. Okay, this is a, a general participation. So we have the chance to choose some students to share what you have found uh, related to each meaning about these key terms. Uh, business and needs, business needs and goals. Who has these, um, concept who would like to share uh, 
According to the, the website, I found uh, there is a, a very uh, very of the business goals in an organization and in, can define financial goals, growth goals, employees goals, uh, process goals, social goals, and time-based goals. There is a, I found in the web. Thank you so much. Okay, that that is a very uh, you know uh, clear details related to the um, the key terms in this one. Uh, someone else that would like to share um, a similar or a closest meaning related to the first one. Someone else. Uh, teacher, for me, uh, is or or are the different needs or tools that a company must meet or cover for the achieve uh, the objectives or different goals thank you so much okay it was a uh, very interesting too um, emphasizing in some per, some needs, right? Thank you so much. Yeah, I was like uh, very close to the the minute. Teacher, yes, I have, I have opinion. Yes, uh, I I think about this concept is it's important because uh, many many companies needs to to have expected expectatives about a uh, result shift. Uh, for this reason. Uh, our process needs to get goals, yes, Be because uh, the the companies needs uh, uh, a specific a specific objective, because uh, the companies needs to get uh, revenue. Okay, uh, thank you for you know this uh, valuable comment too. Definitely that. Yet, depending on the area too, it's important to focus, right? All right, and um, and someone else that would like to share the concept about the first one. Me, teacher. I want to add something else. Hi. Okay. And. Both are part of the objectives of the company to achieve the mission and vision. And I don't know if it's correct the, the words, uh, but uh, it's my opinion. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go to the next one. That is the gap skills anal analysis. So what do you have for this one? So who would like to share uh, the possible answer? Me, teacher. Yes. Okay. Um, scale gay analysis is a process in which employer identify missing organizational scale and develop and plan to file team. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. In my, in my case, uh, the concept uh, I investigate is, is a systematic approach to identify and analyze the difference between the skill required in a particular job and the skill possess, possessed by an individual, individual. I I think it, it is the is the is the gap uh, that is that, that there is a skill required between a, a skill a skill that has a, a people. Okay, thank you so much. It's well, very you know it's extensive and. Any interesting details about the gap key skills analysis? Someone else uh, would like to you know go deeper about this uh, key term. Me. Yes. 
uh, it's the difference between skills uh, that employers want or need and uh, skills their their workforce offers to the company. Okay, uh, Nelson, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Nelson. Yeah, that's right. Also, there are like valuable skills that perhaps are needed to cover a position. I was thinking that, for example, when you're hiring a company, um, you have a set of interviews to with the interviewer to make sure that the, the employee or the future candidate for you know for the job they have the specific skills that can help them to you know to be successful in a job or some specific task task in the company. That's good. Thank you. So, what else for this one? Someone else that would like to um, share um, his or her, you know, answer or concept. No one else? Okay, let's move to the next. Uh, we talk about survey. Uh, as I mentioned before, it, it is a very interesting, um, you know, key term that most of the time in companies, it's used and also it's important to go deeper. Okay, who would like to share, you know, the concept? <clears throat> for for me teacher it is a uh, is an examination or evaluation uh, about the uh, different topic uh, that may uh, by asking people Yes, and I, I would like to ask you, do you have service in your in your company or in your job? Do you have service or for example, um, by the human resources department, do you have a survey about the job or I don't know? Service? Yes, teacher. Uh, for example, in my company, a uh, human, human resource uh, may, uh, uh, make uh, this evaluation uh, uh, at different time uh, and, and when uh, they asking the operator who is the service, uh, for example, the engineer department or mechanical department, yes, what is the, what is the service uh, of the, of your, your, your of their bus, of their bus. A bus or the? Bus, bus, bus. Ah, the bus, yes, the bus, okay. Yes, thank you so much. All right, um, that, that is very interesting um, to know about service. Uh, someone else that would like to share the concept about service? Me. Yes. Uh, personally, uh, the survey is a way to measure of different topics such as uh, behavior, skills, performance, quality as a service from the employees, the companies, managers, etc. That's all. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, most of the time there are some uh, survey of satisfaction, especially in company to, to make sure that everything is, is, is being done in the, the right way in an appropriate way. So that's why there are different kind of. Great job, thank you. And someone else would like to to add more details about survey? Someone else would like to give more details about survey? 
No, teacher, it's the same that that the 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 others say. There's a general view, examination, or description, or someone or something. This is the okay. The the, the meaning, right? Thanks yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's go with the last one. That is a per performance appraisal. Performance appraisal. This is the very common, and especially in jobs. Uh, I just want to get more details about um, a survey. For example, I remember that I just um, some time ago, we're talking about six, seven years ago, um, I, I used to work with um, some um, a kind of company, international company, and um, we provide a special service to customers from different places around the world in Europe, in, um, well, part of the Africa, America too. And also we had some like training conversations. And at the end, we requested them to fulfill a kind of survey about the the procedures that we were developing in the, in the service. And they were like trying to give us some survey of satisfaction about the service. So it was a very nice experience because we tried to give them the best support in order that they can give us a, a very nice survey because survey is like, if we're doing a great job, so it's very visible and people can see what you are doing. And that's very nice because you, you can learn a lot and you get more experienced about that. Okay, uh, performance appraisal. Who would like to um, give us a concept about that? Me, teacher, okay. It is a systematic or periodic process of the measuring and the individual's work performance against the establishment the requirement of the job. Thank you so much. Yeah, that is a, a performance appraisal. Yeah, there are like interesting details about uh, these key terms. Thank you so much for that. Someone else uh, that would like to, you know, uh, add more information. Me, teacher, can I? Uh, I yes. found that the uh, performance appraisal is a process for evaluating and documenting how well an employee is carrying carrying out his or her jobs. Okay, thank you so much. Exactly, so it is the a, a performance appraisal. It's it is a very interesting term because the, uh, in the way that we are doing something and we're working, we have a kind of metrics, in the in those metrics definitely that we had to be evaluated. Or we evaluate the the process that what we are doing, and that is uh, most of the time are important in companies in general. Okay, someone else to conclude this uh, vocabulary? Uh, someone else that would like to conclude this? Okay. Um. Well, the conclusion, so, teacher, about the. <laughs> yeah. I think that this is the uh the graphic that when you start the years and when you finish the or end the the years the the years and you at the beginning you start with the goals or or the business strategy and you have to develop some skill, you have a gap in, in the process, then you have the survey, and then the performance appraises the last the last process and you the beginning again. <laughs> and the next year new goals, new new needs is the is 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 like a circle that the the business or the department have in the, the company. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's right. So as we can uh, appreciate that uh, we we had to be all, also measured about what we're doing and the way that we are like 
developing our jobs. So the performing appraisal is necessary. It's like appreciations about what we're doing, especially in the company. All right, thank you so much for this. Let's continue with the with the next part, next slide. I just want to make sure that that we are in the right path. So, is there any any question or, or comment that perhaps you would like to give? So you can also say, teacher, I would like to say something. In the comments. All right, so let's continue with the next activity. I'm just going to share. Um, one second. It's here. Okay. Okay, we have uh, the following uh, conversation, and I need your help to listen to the following conversation and choose the best answer for each one. So look at the following, like according to the, the audio, where the where the home owner was when the theft happened. In the scene, the evidence indicates that the thief entered the house because you had to check the best answer for this one. And the number three is, was, it was said that the announcer, comma, you should never leave the house the key. There are like some some places most of the time happen in the U.S. that people have the the key of the house, and sometimes they hide the key of the house in the entrance down the a vase down the I don't know a vase or something else, and this is like a a kind of traditional way that people can you know get get the key outside the house by any chance. But in El Salvador, I don't know how um, appropriate it could be that people can hide the key around the house in, in Europe. That, that happens, especially in England. But, you know, the only one difference is that in those countries like England, people people won't be st stealing your stuff, right? They respect and they don't have the need to, to steal. So that's why the question says, right, it was said that the announcer, you should never leave a house key. Uh, do you do you leave a house key near your house? Down the base, for example? Nope. No, right? <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> yeah. In this country, no. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, um, there is a kind of... Um, like a, a base we can say in Spanish like como una maceta dejan la llave debajo de la maceta right and they, when they come back they, they find the key there so definitely that they, they have different cultures and some other aspects that are totally different to our country um, number four a better method to safeguard your house is and also we have the possible choices and people should if you encounter it, an intruder in your house so i'm sending you right now the audio so just uh, let me one moment please and i'm going to um share something and please let me know if you see the the audio is this one? can you check now Okay, could you check now? Yes, I think it's ready. Let's go. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes, answer and practice.
Are you ready? Almost, almost. Almost ready. Um, hello, are you ready? Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Not okay. yet. Okay. Okay. All right, that's okay.
Okay, much better now, or you're still working on that? Uh, are you ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's like an appropriate time for that. Okay, it was uh, a very interesting uh, kind of, you know, conversation, uh, situation that happened. That was a little, little alarming, uh, according to the speaker. And also the speaker mentioned some important points about what happened with the incident and related to home security, you know, that also happened in, in everywhere. So, you know, home security, it's a little bit tough because of different circumstances. Okay, we'll go with the first one. According to the audio where uh, the, the home owner was when the theft happened. So do you know that? Yeah. At a supermarket. At a supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. In not a good time. Yeah, it's not, it's not a good time anyway. Yeah, so in the scene, the, the evidence indicates that the thief entered the house because what happened there? How he find out that you know the situation happened? What was the evidence? Yes. Do you uh do you find out what was the evidence of the situation? What was the you know the evidence of the scene? That, I yes. think he mentioned um, something like footprint. So I think it's a mark of a person's shoe. Okay. And uh, do you agree, guys? Do you agree with him? I'm not sure, but I think that is a look door to the house. Okay, so according I'm to the sure. yeah, okay, thank you so much. According to the conversation, well, it was mentioned like there was a dirty footprint, right? If we're talking about a dirty footprint, um, obviously that the entry is the mark of a person's shoe. So that was the real evidence. And through the unlock window, so he, he well so the footprint in, in the unlock window. So that's why that was the, the the correct answer in that case. Number three, it was said that the announcer is, well, mentioned and you should never leave a house key. I think you that place. it is a burglar, my suspect. My suspect. Okay. I, I agree. Yes, in a, in a places, in, in places, uh, burglar my suspect, right? In places that you see, you know what? Here is the best place to rob. So that's why don't don't, don't leave um, the key. Well, so don't leave the key around the house. Uh, that will be the, the, the advice, especially here in our beautiful country. We cannot let the key outside the house because people can, they cannot imagine there is a key uh, around the house. So, you know, so they can rob all stuff. So that's why. Uh, we have to be very careful with that. Yes. Next. Okay, let's see. -da -da. Okay. A better method to safeguard your house is to... I hear that putting in a good light around mm. the house, <laughs> but I'm not yes. sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I listen the same, but I'm not sure if that support. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's okay. So the, in that case, the like, uh, appropriate lights around the house will be the best because when it's everything is like, you know, the, the thief or the burglar are like, you know, somebody's at home because lights uh, are on. So that's why, the, you know, good lights could be the best way for it. You no know, safeguard the house. Is there any other method? Uh, do you know any other method to safeguard the house? 
I think that the cameras is a good method. Yeah. Well. For me, it's, it's, it's better camera. than good light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. <laughs> and the cameras, right? Yeah. yeah. But the light with sensor. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Because automatically you imagine that somebody's at home when you see the light. And, yeah, with the sensor. Yeah, so the you see. And, and some other people have some other like cheaper, not cheaper at all. But <laughs> I don't think that it's not cheaper, but with a sensor, because you need that to when someone else to close your door, the, the light. Uh, and, um, the light, yeah. It, what, but I don't think that it's cheaper. I think that it's expensive, <laughs> like uh, cameras. <laughs> yeah, like cameras. Well, it, what about having dogs? And <laughs> this is another one. Having dogs mm -hmm. or the else is like the, the, the most common in a suburb. People have dogs, the pets, the and it works Salvador, better. <laughs> it's other methods that you can apply. You have a dog, yes, and they start yeah. barking. They're like, "Oh my God, there is a dog in the head." You and make it's a work noise. better. Uh, it, it's work better if you don't give food. <laughs> <laughs> Angry dogs, uh, yeah. Angry, you angry, can go to hell angry, for angry, angry and hungry. And hangry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> angry and hungry. Both ways. Yeah. yeah. Nah, it's a yuck. It, well, I have a dog. It's like I have a dog. It's like um, it's a kind of boxer. It's it's a, it's a boxer. It's a big dog, and and you see the dog, and people are scared to see them, but this um, it's very sweet. Uh, my dog is like uh, you know very lovely. It's not aggressive. Uh, obviously, when it barks, uh, it makes a lot of noise. To it, but it, he's very, very friendly with with many people. So, you know, dogs are good, good companionship too. And there is another one. Uh, there are some alarms. For example, like the the car alarms. Uh, there are some cars that have some alarms, and but these kind of alarms are. Uh, especially in fences or in the in the back chairs or indoors and by any chance uh, the owners are not at home they they install this kind of alarms those are different methods okay next uh, the last one people should if you encountered an intruder in your house call 911 call, call, call the police, police. Oh, according, according to the to the answers. I think he said avoid the intruder if possible. Uh -huh. uh, you say that? Okay. And... Yes, they, they, they said avoid the intruder, but uh, as I will say that call the police. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm not sure. Well, so... Definitely that um, it, it was mentioned in the conversation that if you heard strange sounds in the house, they call the police rather than seeking out the, the intruder. So that's mean that uh, that the answer will be avoid intruder if possible. Because everyone says hi under your bed, call the police after you find a burglar. So you don't need to find the burglar. You automatically called, you, you, you call the police, but but you don't need to find the burglar. That's why the answer is avoiding through it is possible. You avoid it, no watch the watch him or watch the person or it, run away and call the police after that. So are like possible strategies. Or, re or release the dog. Ah yeah, release the dog. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or you can say, "What? Is, who is there? I'm the police." <laughs> you can say that. So, if you're not the police, <laughs> but you say, "I'm the police," so you, you are not the police, but you know the burglar will be scared. Okay. All right. So, congratulations for that. We're gonna check the second uh, part of the the attendance list. Just give me one second. Let's see. 
Okay, let me check the attendees. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Eh, Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Eh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Eh, José Bernardo López. José. Eh, José Bernardo López. Present. Ok. Eh, José Carlos Argueta. Present. Eh, José Salvador Bernal. Present. Ok. Eh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Josman. Present, teacher. Eh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present. Y Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Kevin. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Sifrido Ernesto. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Albarenga. Present. Y Manuel Antonio Escamilla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, let's continue with the class. And we have the last um, part of the class. Teacher, I'm here. Excuse me. Kevin no. Lucero, I'm here. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Kevin. Yes. Yes, Kevin. Yes, excuse me. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I'm checking here some inform general information. All right, let's see. Okay, we have a next article that is a very interesting. Uh, the following article and summarized the most important about it. The article is called the importance of training and development in the workplace. There are very interesting details that you will find out about this article. So I want you to try to read the most important points and then try to summarize in a briefly way what you understand about the article and also some valuable points that we uh, can highlight. After that, we're going to be working in breakout rooms and you will share it in your team what you understood about that and how, you, how do you feel about this article. So let me share with you right now the link. Just give me one second. Okay, yes, I have the link. Okay, look at this chat. Look at this, this chat. And you will see the a link where it talk about small businesses and important trainings, development. So check this. Okay, look at this. I will give you a couple of minutes to read it. And then we're going to work with the breaker rooms to socialize each one.
Okay, students, um, well, we're gonna take a short time to uh, to work in the breakout rooms because of the time. And I want you to um, summarize in your own words what you understood about this article and also uh, focus about the importance of training and developing in the workplace. Because there were some uh, important aspects that were mentioned in the article. And also what I want you to do is like to explain in your own words uh, this part. So I'm gonna um, recreate the breakup rooms. Um, please be ready to um, to check and start working in the groups. Let's go. We, we know the training is uh, the best way to What about you, Osman? Osman, are you there? Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, yes. My opinion was my my opinion was a uh, uh, training for develop is is the best way to to improve the process because uh, when oh. when get a uh, training, you know you know how how can I do your oh. job. A better way, yes. But but I know uh, the com uh, the companies consider if is uh, important to invest or not. But uh, I agree with you, Kevin. Uh, the companies have to analyze uh, plans uh, to invest for a training or not. But the benefits yeah. uh, a long time. Uh, is it good? Is good for company and the employees. 
Yes. Uh, what about you, Jose? What do you think about the... Well, I was reading the article and so I identify some... I identify a lot of things that were so important because I I identify that it is similar situation in their real life because sometimes the boss or the director or sometimes the human resource when you are looking for any training that you believe that you will need for your job and so the first they saw is how much it will cost and they don't they don't see the, the benefits for the company okay yes. uh, I, I guess that uh, according to the article the directors and the, the human resource they should learn this type of articles yes and sometimes they have to create survey to to identify your needs and what you need to, to improve and according to this create the different training right yes that's what uh, i find in maybe um, maybe the companies have has Fear, um, when when gives training to the employees, and maybe think, on oh, this employee, it's will go uh, two months or one years later, and now and right now I am investing Invested. in his knowledge. And he will go in a, in a little bit time. Maybe the companies have has or have mm. excuse me. The companies have a uh, uh, fear fear. And yes, what about, it could uh, be. I, I met a I met a person that learned a lot about any department, and he prepared. It. Wow. I, I really uh -huh. admire that person. I admire, to be honest with you, I, I really admire. And so but when he a knows a lot, yeah. <laughs> when he become a pro, he, he <laughs> create a new CV and he move up into fast. And so I said, I admire you. You are my motivation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, Sigfrido? What do you think uh, about the article? Mm. I think <laughs> the article refers that a training is like a way to create a loyalty of the employee in the company. Yes. So I mean, you are training employee because this action has benefits on the employee, but also has more benefits to you as a company owner. Like your employee is more capacitated to do the job. It's like it's generating loyalty to the company because you're trying to avoid, for example, cost of replacing the employee with another person. <laughs> is uh, is that for me? Yes, it's about I, loyalty. I I company. read <laughs> I read a sentence and and said and say, the training may also build the employee confidence because she has a stronger understanding of the industry and the responsibilities of her job. And maybe if you, if you like company gives, give a, a training, a specialist, specialist training, Maybe one wants to stay in the in the company. Yep. So as a reason, we would say because he feels comfy and you are providing the correct training to feel the to make the employee feels comfortable in the company. Comfortable, yes, comfortable. It's important when we when we feel uh, so comfortable 
comfortable in the companies right? because they are gi giving us uh, training and training and training and training. And no, no, it's not also about training. It's also about the, the feeling. Like, oh, I feel really appreciated in the company because she's the company is providing me training and something like that. So. Yeah. This is and what topic. about your company, Alfredo? Your company is training you always? Yeah. Okay, students, well, uh, time is up. Um, you know, we finished the class. I really appreciate the incredible effort you make all the time. Um, so I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to work in the platform, the exercises uh, corresponding to this class. And also have a beautiful night to all of you, and I hope to see you in the next class, right? So congratulations and great job. Good night, Thank teacher. You. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.